Don't pout, Murr. I can't believe you're doing this to me again, Murray. You're not paying for your half the lunch. I went out on my lunch hour. Yes, I did. I bought the kind of sandwiches that you like, the kind of pastries that you tend to dig, and you, no, no. Sound factory. A customer. <laughs> Can I help you? No, thanks. I'm just looking. Great. And I'm just looking at you look. <laughs> Did you notice my name tag at all? Yeah. I guess you'll start using my name soon. Okay. Evan? Should I call you Evan or do you have a different name? My name is Don. Really? I had a friend named Don once. I saved his life. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> Don, let's break out of the traditional salesman customer roles and have a little fun, eh? <laughs> okay, enough fun. Let's get down to business. What kind of expensive stereo unit am I going to sell you today? Well, what can you tell me about this one right here? It's a bottom of the line unit. It doesn't know what it's doing. Well, it might be fine for what I want. Put your arm around it. No, you don't make a good couple. Well, it is the right kind of price I'm looking for. Are you on death row? No. Then you don't get the discount. Listen, Evan, I think I'm going to look around. I was just thinking... What was that? You're right. We do take sounds for granted. Listen, let's take this pause to introduce you to some more advanced sound units. Units that aren't afraid of sound. Units that aren't afraid to sound. Right this way. Hey, why don't you buy this one right here? Well, it's a bit expensive, Evan. Well, one of the features of this sound unit is that you can pay it off in one easy installment, the whole thing, right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any demos, anything slightly used? When you go to a restaurant, do you order slightly used food? No, I don't. No, you don't. I'm gonna go look in some other stores. Great, I'll come with you. Mur, watch the food while I go. All right, all right, all right, what do you got? I find your curiosity for sound pleasantly childlike. Hey, Mur, I was just thinking that some people can't enjoy sound because they're deaf. <laughs> and I guess that leaves a bigger responsibility for those of us who can hear to the sounds. To the sounds, to the sounds. The wind. A car horn. A middle-aged couple fighting. You're leaving me because I was late. We start the first time! Can't you tell that I was late because I love you? A hawk. <laughs> no, Murray. It's not a real hawk. Just lifelike hawk sound. It just sounds pretty good, though. A man who knows what he's hearing. You know, I think I might be interested. Think, Dawn. Don, I have thought, thoughts of sounds, sounds that have lightly kissed my eardrums, the silence of a space that cries for the energy of a Johnny Winter guitar solo, or even the soft murmur that comes off the nose of a sleeping puppy dog. But must settle for silence, for silence. No sounds, no sounds. Is that you, Don, or are you ready? Show me your best, Evan. <laughs> then it is time for the sound room. This is where you and I must part company. I sell sound. Hello. Have you seen the new Mitsubishi 589? Oh, perhaps you'd be more interested in some floor and ceiling speakers from Ganda. Of course you would. Isn't everybody into sound? I hit the sound. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Satan. 